Hello people, good afternoon. Uh, this is Subhasis. So last month we have completed our first chapter. And uh, moving forward to the second chapter. I hope you will be alright with your home as uh, our uh, sundown is running. And uh, we must also follow our government uh, instructions. And uh, let's start the chapter. Uh, the second chapter, Ideas of Development. Uh, so many of you have many ideas regarding the development and you may know the meaning of development, what it refers to. So simply we can say that development is a gradual growth. What we can say? Development means a gradual growth or a progress simply we can say. So, but to confine it in a proper manner, how we can consider what does it refer? So development is the systematic and a technical method and a knowledge which meet specific goals, objectives, as well as the requirements. So what are the three most important points I said? I said specific goals. Let me note down over here. Specific goals. Second, I said about objectives. And third, I said about requirements. So, while coming to the three points specific goal, objectives, and the requirements, how we will consider all those things are related with the development? From where we collected the specific goals, objectives, and the requirements. To find out all those, I will show you one more things like society. Secondly, economy. Thirdly, environment. So all the things are interlinked each other. How to consider? So when coming to the specific goal, we can fulfill our specific goal for the society. Is it clear? And when coming to the objectives, our objectives we can fulfill by using the economy. And when we come to the third point about the requirement, we can collect all kinds of requirement from the economy. Now it's clear. Once again, let me re repeat the same point that development is the Systematic and technical knowledge of which we to the three things like specific goals, objectives, and the requirements. Let me come to the chapter. Let's see. Once again, come to the chapter. Ideas of development has various aspects regarding various people, which is before from people to people. Let's come to the chapter, what it has considered for us and how we can confine that development, whether it is uh, acquiring or not. So children, we all have many aspirations and we know how these aspirations or the desires to fulfill. Like simple things we can take that what we would like to do in our life. Simply we can think of that how we would like to live in the society. Similarly, while coming to the country, we have many ideas. Even if you have also little ideas about our country. How a country should be like? What are the essential things which must require for us? Simple things, what are the essential things we must require? Food, shelter and the clothes. Those are the three most important things you must be required. Can life be very easier for all? Can all people will get the equal treatment? So, development involves all the thinkings where we should think about and the way we can work towards to achieving the goals. So, this is a complex tax. And in this chapter, we will put an effort to understand what development means. Let's start the first paragraph. I will move forward. 
Get rid of the blackboard. So whatever the points I'm writing, just try to hold down if you are alive. And uh, after, if you get the time also, try to watch it and subscribe our uh, video to the Facebook channel and uh, try to get updates each and every day. Thank you. So the first paragraph I'm moving forward is what development promises. So what development promises? To whom it will promise? Obviously, different people. To whom? Different people. For what? For different goals and different purposes. So what I have mentioned here, what development promises? So simple thing. It is Promises to whom? To the people. For what? For their goals. So, the developmental goal which will be differ from people's person to person. How can we consider? Let's take a different examples. Let's, let's take the different examples where I am going to note on the board. First, I am going to mention here a landless rural labor. Secondly, I will mention here prosperous farmers. And thirdly, I will mention here a girl from a rich family. So what I have mentioned here, a landless rural labor, prosperous farmers and a girl from a rich family. Obviously, these are the three kinds of people and their aspirations and the desires which will be differ from each other. How can we consider? So what will be an aspiration for the landless labor? Most important thing is here, a regular work and better ways. Apart from that, it never requires the other things. Like, uh, you can say that AC, weather car, weather, uh, all kinds of luxurious things. Apart from that, rural also like to live in a proper treatment and getting a good, respectable manner in the society. That we can consider. But coming to the second, a prosperous farmer, obviously. It would like to get cheap labor where he can collect. So that, uh, especially in India, we can get from the rural areas all the cheap labors which is very frequent to us because of our economic concern and highly we can say what income from its farm product coming to third a girl from a rich family right it would like to leave as like her brother but the freedom and the responsibility she had for the society so what we found from the three examples we found here the different people have their different aspects. So while coming to the three examples, what we found here that we found here that when we come to the landless labor, prosperous farmer, a girl from a rich family, we found here that all the notion of development are not same and equal. Is it? Yes. So how we consider? thing is that only the thing they have love, they have desire. What, what they have desired, the main thing, what they have desired, what is the most important thing for their life and what is the most important thing for them that they have desired here. Apart from that, nothing is there. The same manner. So when we come to the a girl from the, in the same manner what we found where at a time when we see one or more people or a group of people when they come together for one kind of things the situation become very gross and it get a and it bring a conflicts among them how can you consider come to the last point what it has mentioned a girl from a rich family obviously it would like to leave 
and it would like to have all kinds of freedom as like his brother but his brother may not like this his brother may appreciate for that it would she would help her family in all kinds of works come on thing we can take a similar we can go for the next example to get more aids in industries they will construct huge dams and will go for huge construction of reservoirs but other way what we found there the complete has right for construction get construction of a dam last hectare of land will submerge under the water there will be displacement of the live wood from one place to another place and acres of land which will be submerged under the water so these are the two complete situations we found from where while we are collecting the data from the girl from a rich family and while coming to the construction of the dam let's come to the next example which is a, a very um, uh, frequent was that the who's development as it has mentioned for us who's development we are going to compare here whether the people's development and whether the government's development how we can combine here is it right here as it has mentioned even if we can go for what constitute development which brings uh, conflicts many peoples and which brings development for few people how can we consider all such things so to understand these points let's take a live examples example which is in front of us so it has mentioned that uh, uh, udan kola nuclear plant project in uh, tirunelveli district of uh, tamil nadu the government of india had decided has decided to set up a nuclear plant power plant to get huge amount of energies to meet all such kinds of deficit of our energy in our country to protest it this region people as it was a coastal area to protest it of this region people basically they depend upon the coastal to for their fishery ports and to uh, for their livelihood they have uh, protested it so for what purposes they have protested they had uh, three things three things in their mind one is about the ground safety well coming to second about the livelihood which is most important and the third is about the security so what are what are the three important points i have said here why did they protest here what was the, their name so they have protested for the ground safety secondly security and thirdly as we have gone about what life so those are the most important aspects for is an every common people is an every common people so that the government has responded and had taken all the safety measures many of the local people the environmentalist and the scientist who had also supported the protest how they can uh, avoid the radioactive activity uh, we can from the new nuclear plant so one incident which had happened in japan kubusuma nearby the coastal area so the uh, peril was uh, out of control so that what happened the few of the area which has gone destroyed so keeping in the mind the protest to the government has written the letter you are unable and unwilling to project this plant in our coastal area but later on the government with the help of supreme court had taken all kinds of safety measures and the project which is running towards its development so two things is very much of clear here so what the things we found here what the two things we cleared here first point which has mentioned here development which is different different from people to people obviously and which is the second point we got here that is one which is development for one which may be destructive for the others so this was all about the example which i have given you may understand properly and you may consider it whose development 
and I will update uh, the update all the questions and questions uh, through the WhatsApp, and uh, you will go through your answers. Next, we will move forward. The next uh, paragraph that is uh, income and power. So what is the next we are going to study? Income and other. Second point. So what we find? The examples I have given with the uh, landless labor. Secondly, I have given the example of the rural, sorry, rural for prosperous farmer. Thirdly, I have given the example of a, a girl from the rich family. From the three, the examples we have table one, it has considered many of the examples and you have to complete it by writing in your classwork as well as in your textbook. So what do we consider? One thing we consider. So rather than the other things, people have considered only one thing. What is that? Income. What they have considered? Income. So we notice here the common thing, what is in front of us and what people desire. First is regular one. Then better ways. Third is a decent price for their crop. This means in all the but all total what we can say we can say that income in the form of money. So children, does money brings all the other goals? We have to consider. It. So how this money never brings all the other goals? Apart from the money, what the other things we must require in the society to live? We must require the three things, three or four things. What is the we can find it out? What equal treatment? Secondly, we want security. And thirdly, we want freedom. And fourthly, we must want respect from from others. So, what I have mentioned here, does money bring all those things? No, sir. Right. Never. Equal treatment. Second point: security, freedom, respect from others. So we cannot purchase all those four things by paying money and which cannot be possible here. So that you may know better what is a friend in your life. So for a friendship and for a good relation we must not require what money. Let's come to the example. I am going to give an example you can understand better. So it has mentioned here, suppose you got a good job far away from your place. Apart from income, what are the other things you must put in your mind? Yes, the thing is that good atmosphere, whether you have good freedom in the society or not, whether a proper security should get or not, whether it is a boy or whether it is a girl. In the same manner, you got a good job nearby your place, which is providing you regular work, as the income is less, you are connected with your family and all the things, all the aspects you collected from your family as you are living in your life your family. Right? Hence what we found here, by paying money, we cannot purchase what the security and the freedom as we stay far away from our place. Come to the next example, what it has mentioned for us. Next example is about that we must know, know that uh, many of our family members, special women, has connected uh, many of the paid work. As all our parents are educated and uh, they are uh, well, we can say what, uh, we can say what, qualified and skilled, they get a good uh, opportunity nearby their surroundings. So, as a woman get a good paid work, then she deserve, obviously she will deserve the respect from her family first and all kinds of household work also. 
even our parents also will our father and the other male also they will they will also like to help them for their work apart from that she will also deserve a good respect from the society yes sir but how would they get all kind of things if the environment as well as the society will be obvious good and proper then like many of the people and many of the women especially the female they will come forward to do their works so what we consider from the two examples by paying money we cannot purchase the equal treatment security freedom respect and from the others right so this is all about income and the other goals so we found here what apart from the income what the other goals we must require in our life and which cannot be purchased by paying money this is all about the chapter and of this paragraph and uh, i will be uh, uh, seriously updating you in the next period uh, and uh, i will go forward with the next paragraphs what is most important for you in the coming days uh, right after here be safe at your home and uh, uh, follow all the safety measures uh, which are uh, uh, confronted our government and uh, stay blessed stay safe at home thank you